Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a quick unboxing to do for you. So this comes by way of White Mountain Knives. You guys know I love White Mountain Knives. Justin over there is awesome. You can use my code LEFTY10 over there for 10% off your orders, free shipping in the United States. I'm going to use my MagnaCut ProTech Mordax. Finally think I got this thing dialed in. And uh, I used super glue to Loctite it because I could not get the pivot to hold. I tried super glue twice. I tried Loctite twice. Nothing would hold. So the last time I took a Q-tip in there with some super glue and then put a good amount on the pivot screw and um, tightened it down. And so far, so good. We'll see how she holds up. But what I have here, I believe, is either two or three Wii knives. Depends on uh, if Justin sent me everything I asked for or if uh, he only sent a couple things. I did buy one of them. So let's see what's in here. Yep, it's just two. <laughs> That's what I thought. Um, he may not even have had the third one. I don't know. So there's some new Wii's out. And then there's uh, an old one that was redone. And that was uh, the one I'm not sure if he had. Um, but we're going to find out. So I did buy one of them. That was this one. And then, okay, so the one I didn't get is the um, the Swayback one. I forget what it's called. But uh, the reason I wanted to check it out was because they used uh, this material on it that we used on our stout. They had the aluminum and the copper on, on their uh, whatever the knife was called. And that was really the reason I was interested. It was a little flipper knife. It wasn't actually that super interested in the knife so i'm glad i got these two this is a remake not a remake it's a new version of a knife that already existed i like the new packaging i do um it's very nice uh, i do wish they would change up their cloth they don't have the worst cloth in the game but i like a good microfiber um and now they went back to the pouch because everybody probably gave them shit this is the wee knives mini buster you guys know I reviewed one of these before, and uh, I was a bit critical of it. The detent on the one I had was kind of light, honestly, um, and so I didn't love it, but I think I also didn't give it the best chance. So, you know, for all those people out there that uh, commented on that video, I'm giving it another try. I like how they have that weird... Uh, cardboard thing on top. I, I dig it. I dig the new packaging. I'll put it over here where it belongs. So this is the Mini Buster. A uh, really cool looking knife. I love the blade shape. Uh, I love that they center their blades perfectly. It's it's very nice. And this with the tiger stripe just, I don't know, the Flame Anno just did it for me. I really liked it on my Roxy 3. So I, I think the, the blade shape is really nice. The Ergos are pretty good. It makes the handle feel kind of small, um, but it is pretty good. And you can choke up like this. You have that Warncliffe blade. Just, you guys know I love a Warney. Uh, but the action was kind of the thing that everybody raved about on this knife. And um, the one I had, it was a shaker. Everybody talked about the multi-row bearings and it was easy to fail. And I think maybe, I wasn't that harsh on it. Maybe it just doesn't have the action that I personally love. Because here we go again. I'm, I'm, you know, messing with the D10 here. Um, you know, you can fail it. Let me just try it. Uh, yeah, it's... If you're going to go... Like, my thinking on it is... If you're going to go flipper only, right? That's the only form of deployment on this knife. Why would you put any question in the minds of your customers that the detent is good? Like, all you got to do is make it strong enough that it fires out every time and locks up. Now, most people are just going to do this, and they're going to not care. Um, but I, I care. I care. It's not bad. It's fine. I'm, I'm being an asshole here. Um, it's actually pretty good. And I will say the way the flipper's designed, I'm remembering now that it has no jimping on it. Uh, it's not the best flipper tab, honestly. I don't know why I'm struggling with it, but it does look cool, which is awesome. Um, 
Yeah, I think this knife just isn't for me. Man, I really was like excited to, to try one again and see if maybe, you know, maybe it was me, you know? Um, the knife is fine, guys. The detent, you can see I'm actually struggling because of the, I'm on the lock bar there. But if you're off the lock bar, let's just see. Yeah, I think it's breaking in real nice. So we'll see, I'll give it a shot, but couple flips and I'm already kind of like, eh, I'm over it again. Cool knife though. Tiger stripe, all that stuff. Yeah, I, I guess I just don't get the hype on it. Sorry. It does have that cool, unique uh, detent ball nub thing, uh, which really just looks like a steel ball. Um, but it kind of looks like the same ball that Grimsmo uses on there. It's like a little rod thing. Multi-row bearings. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just on the lock bar there. So let's make sure I'm off the lock bar. And then... Is the clip resting on the lock bar? No. Detent feels good. So I don't think it's the detent. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, another thing I'll note is they bead blasted the blade, it looks like. And that's just a cop out for me. I don't know why they do that so often. Uh, anyway, let's move on to the next one because the next one's the one I'm excited for. This is the Baloo. And as soon as I saw this knife, somebody showed it to me in a group. I was like, oh, you know, that's actually really cool looking. We doing something different. I think it's a. Um, O stop Pell design. Still repping the uh, Arrakis there. Same packaging. I just thought this design was interesting. I will say right off the bat, when I picked it up there, it felt kind of heavy. So let's just see what's going on here. Yeah, it's got some, eh, does have weight to it though. Maybe this is just really light. By the way, I just realized something. If you're just a, a normal human being and you just pick the knife up and flick it, this thing's awesome. And that's what I'm not, I'm like, <laughs> right? Like, just pick it up, Kev, and flick the knife. Boom, right? It's actually really sick. And I don't know why I thought that detent was light at first. Like, no, there's no fail. It must've just been wearing in on the detent pad. This is nice, yeah. See, I just need a second sometimes, guys. Centering, still good. No play, like a rock. Yeah, I actually really like that. Okay, um, this is the Baloo. And, ooh, do we have an off-center blade from Wii? Ooh, I don't know. That would be impressive if they sent something off-center. Nah. Eh. Maybe ever so slightly to this side. That would be crazy. All right, so I got the Micarta one because it was the only one that wasn't... Um, coated blade i hate the two-tone blades they do um this micarta does remind me of the micarta from qsp that we used this is black obviously it's not oiled or anything and this is green but yeah they're very similar nice and soft good grip so what i thought was cool is it's sort of a bolster lock and there's a hole so i was hoping but it looks like a hidden hole. Why would you do that? Oh, it's a thumb hole, which means maybe left handed. Let's just give it a front flip. Jimping is pretty loose up here. It's not very grippy. And the, look where the front flipper stops. This is a horrible front flipper. Okay. Wow, it looks a lot different in person. The blade to handle looks a little bit off, but eh, it's cool. Um, fits the hand okay. Did I buy this? Yeah, I did. I bought this one, didn't I? Now I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Action's pretty good. Man, that centering thing is gonna bug me. It's just slightly off. I mean, that is really hard to get in there and get. Let's try it left-handed. Yeah, it's just awkward. You can do it, but it's sort of awkward. 
The Ergos are okay. I mean, eh. Um, flat grind, fucking bead blast, man. They just kill me with the bead blast. Why? You know? Luckily, it's not M390. I think it's 20 CV, so it'll at least probably hold up better. So you got these moves. So if you're Jared over at Neve's Knives, you can do your stupid rollback flips. <laughs> um... I can't do them left-handed. I'm just like stupid right left-handed. Look at this. <laughs> but right-handed, you hand me one of these, boom. <laughs> I think I hate this knife. Uh, there's a lanyard post back here. Uh, it flicks okay. It flicks okay. It's, it's, not, it's not bad. No access for the thumb there, but it's very tight. And it's just kind of awkward. It doesn't feel like a natural flick. If that makes sense. The grip doesn't feel right. The Ergos also are a little goofy. But it's 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 okay. Um, it's pretty thin, it feels like. It looks pretty thin. You got that backspacer lanyard pin thing going on that everybody likes to do. Front flipper, uh, it works pretty well, honestly. But why why they didn't jump up here is beyond me. That's just horrible. Like why you're just gonna slide right over that. You know. Yeah, this is definitely just like an eh knife. I don't know what I was expecting. I, I just thought it looked cool. But um Yeah, I don't know. Probably not for me. Honestly, I might see if I can just send back that one and keep this one. Because I much prefer this knife. Um, but I, I can't flip this either. Like, I don't understand what's going on. Clearly, I have problems, not the knives. That flipper tab's just tiny, though. I mean, look at it. Why wouldn't you put jimping on your flipper tab? You know, so you got to, like, dig in to get it. Action's incredible on this thing, though. Yeah, I'm probably going to email White Mountain and be like, hey, you care if I just keep this one and send that one back? Because, honestly, I, I want no parts of this one. <laughs> it's okay. I, like, yeah, you can reverse flick it. Is it weird that there's a knife that you can reverse flick and I'd rather have the one with the flipper tab? You know? Um... But that's the case here, guys. I just don't, uh, I don't know. Just don't love this thing right here. So, anyway, uh, that's enough rambling and nonsense for me. That's the new Wee Knives Baloo and the uh, Mini Buster in Tiger Stripe. Flame Nano, Tiger Stripe, whatever. I'm guessing both are 20 CV steel. Um,. Yeah, this one's like thin and then it gets fatter as it goes back. And I guess that looks cool, but it doesn't... I mean, it feels fine. It's fine in hand. And I can guarantee you the... Oh, yeah. These edges are just stupid, sticky, sharp. They're so good at that. That's the one thing I got to give Wii credit for, man. They're fit and finish. Like, they're centering. They're better than anybody at that stuff. Um, when I say fit and finish, I mean like QC, sorry. Um... Riot obviously is the fit and finish king. Um, like Riot would have inlaid this micarta into this titanium, and it would all be flush. I mean, it would be absolutely stunning. It's already cool, but like, you know, it would be even better. I like that there's a milled clip. Um, but we just kills it with. I mean, the centering. I mean. I don't think this is off. I think that's my brain. Um, the centering and the action usually out of the box is pretty good. The detents on both of these are dialed in. So luckily, uh, we got good detents. The action's really good on both. Uh, this isn't that bad. I'm, I'm really just being a dick. It's a good knife. This is a good knife. This is a good knife. And it works left-handed, so I really should shut up. Um... I think a lot of people thought you could flip the clip over, but there's got to be a notch under there. We can take a look. Then I got to wrap this up. I got to go pick up my daughter. Does this go all the way through, maybe? That would be cool. Yep, it does. But I bet you there's a notch. No? Ooh, it looks like it might. Hold on. 
Oh, no way. Okay, this knife just got way better. Might have to buy the other one now, too, and just have both. That's a cool way of doing it. I'm going to keep that in mind. Look at that. Lefty clip now. Look at that. And it looks no different. That's how you do a reversible clip. I mean, look at that. It's freaking perfect. Damn. Take notice. Devo. I got to take notice of myself. That's cool. Now I can carry both of them at the same time. I don't know. I think if you're right-handed, this one might be a little disappointing because of the... The reverse flick's just not going to be great. You got all that to contend with. Where left-handed, you have that cutout. You can just get in there and fire. This thing is honestly better left-handed, I think. Yeah, this is cool. CPM 20 CB. I'll get used to that. I really like this knife. CPM 20 CB. Both are 20 CB. So, some really cool knives from Wii. You see how that happens, guys? I went from excited to check them out to this, oh, this sucks. And oh, this sucks. To these are both really cool. <laughs> these are really nice knives. They did a good job. They did a good job, especially with the designs. I mean, you know, um, a company like we can't have the greatest unique design every time out of the box. Like, it's just not going to happen. They have so many knives coming out. But these are different, and they are unique. So I do actually think um, they're pretty cool. I, I don't like how it gets thick down here. I wish it would have just went straight down. And, you know, I love the clip design. I really do. We'll see how it works in pocket. Um, let's drop her in. Yep. Pops right in. That one's going to go in the pocket there. And maybe this one will drop in my back pocket. Um, although I wanted to carry that Mordax a little more. So we'll see. But um, there you go. Let me know what you guys think. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Shout out to White Mountain Knives. Use my code LEFTY10 over there. L-E-F-T-Y-10. And uh, yeah. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. I love you all. And I will catch you later.